Hello everyone, this is All Things Parks and we are here at Disney Springs and it is June, which means it is Pride Month. So it is Pride Month and we are at Disney Springs we to are. celebrate Pride Month and feature all the cool Pride stuff that they have. We're talking flights, we're talking desserts, we're talking merchandise. And I think maybe some more merchandise actually. There's a lot of merchandise. <laughs> actually a couple of flights too. So. A uh, lot to check out here for Pride Month at Disney Springs. Let's get to it. First up on our Pride crawl today is going to be Splitsville. Over at the Bamboo Lounge, they have a very cool flight that looks intriguing. Across the way over at Everglades, they also have a Pride featured donut. We are not going to get that, but it does look lovely. So classic vanilla donut has a rainbow on top. But lately when we've go gone to Everglades, it's not too much added flavor. And that's what we're looking for in our donut. So let's head on over to Splitsville and get today started. So we are here at Splitsville's Bamboo Lounge yet again, because we love the lounge. And look at this amazing, harmonious, trio that they have here so we've got a couple of combinations we've got a big wave day with a rum runner we've got a pina colada with a rum runner and then we've got a big wave day with uh, a daiquiri. strawberry daiquiri that's it so much so much action going on I completely forgot about the daiquiri but let's go ahead and let's give these puppies a try all right, we are connected here by the Rainbow Bridge. I'm about to break this bridge, though, with this candy. Look at that whipped cream. Oh, it's super sour. Oh my god, super sour. I think what I have here is some Big Wave Dave with the Rum Runner and some whipped cream on top. What's, I don't know what I taste. What's in there? What's in it all? It tastes like a blue raspberry slurpee with a little bit of whipped cream and a splash of rum. Drink number two on our lineup here is our lovely pina colada mixed with our rum runner. So, what I tasted with the Rum Runner in the first one, you get a lot of the, the banana to come through, and there's quite a bit of the pineapple that comes through also, which is pretty wild to get those flavors in your Rum Runner. I'm usually more like just, well, I guess there's just three different rums, but this has cream to banana and pineapple juice instead of just more r flavored rum. So it's a little tamer, I feel like, but it does have the 151 in it. And also, I did want to mention that this is like one of the only places on Disney property where they're able to keep their drinks frozen. <laughs> they need to be, they must have Elsa in the back or something like that. But let's try this. So we got Pina Colada, Rum Runner. Again, you get hit with that banana, that cream to banana right away. I'm gonna mix it around so I can get those, those flavors to marry up a little bit. Oh, and there, so now I, you get that pineapple, and then the, a little bit of coconut comes through from that pina colada. So the pineapples from the Rum Runner and the pina colada are mixing. They're just having a wild banana coconut baby in this glass. We are on to our third and final flight of the flight. And this is going to be our strawberry daiquiri with our Big Wave Dave. Again, that's about like a blue raspberry type drink. I'm going to stir it. I'm not going to mess up like before. I did like the last one the best so far because the cream from the pina colada and the whipped cream with all the pineapple was amazing. This one's super sour. Uh, this one's nice because you do get a lot, there's like, you know, berry on berry. So it's super sour, super acidic. You get a little cut from that cream and the whipped cream. This is good. So now that we have gotten our flight in check, there's another flight here on property over at City Works that has been calling our name. It's actually a beer flight. So we're going to trade in a little bit of the sugar for some more of the hops. We have made it here to City Works and we have found the Pride flight. It is a combination of four different beers which we will showcase now. 
Wow, look at that. Movie magic. So we've got all local beers, which is really cool. And it features beers made by local LGBTQ plus owned, operated, and supporting breweries. So that's really cool how they're offering this flight. Um, so our first one here on the right is Love is Love from Proof Brewing Company in Tallahassee. Next one to the left is Hey Hefe from Ellipsis Brewing in Orlando, Florida. Then on the left of that, we've got our Beach Hippie IPA, which is from Persimmon Hollow Brewing Company in Deland, Florida. And then all the way on the left there is our Rainbow Colored Glasses from Ologi Brewing Company in Tallahassee, Florida. So really cool offering that they have here at CityWorks. Definitely come on and check it out. Ology? Oology? Oh. Ology, I think. Ology? Ology. Sure. <laughs> Alright, I am starting with the Rainbow Colored Glasses from Ology Brewing Co. in Tallahassee, Florida. This one's for Tim Tebow. He's not from Tallahassee. I think he is. You better check your Wikipedia. I will go on Wikipedia following this. This is tart. It's almost like a, it's almost like champagne, but it's not champagne, but it's almost like a mimosa. It's really good. Um, very, very fruity, very, very sweet and tart at the same time. Next up on this Pride flight is the Beach Hippie IPA from Persimmon Hollow Brewing Co. in Deland, Florida. So a nice local northern Orlando area here. Let's try it out. Ooh, I like that. That's actually really good. Usually, like I'm hit or miss on IPA. Some of them are way a little bit too overpowering. And some of them are just right. This one, just right. That's what we call the Goldilocks. This is the Goldilocks of IPAs. Come and get it. All right, we are on to Love is Love. This is from Proof Brewing Co. in Tallahassee, Florida, with Andrew has pointed out to Tebow is not from. He's from the Jacksonville area, and now he's a Jacksonville Jaguar. So you're welcome for this random Tim Tebow knowledge as part of this Pride video. Let's go in. Ooh, this is good. It's like pineapple. There's pineapple galore. This is like the Lapu Lapu, but in beer form, and I am loving it. Oh, hello there. I didn't see you come in. This is the Love is Love. Erica says it tastes like pineapple. And uh, I would agree with her. I'm getting some pineapple notes. I'm not 100% sure if that's exactly what's in there. So we might have to go to the, again, go to Wikipedia to find out. But it is a tasty beverage, nonetheless. <laughs> oh my goodness. Going to the Proof website, actually had a rebrand for the Love is Love is the Flamingo Party. It's actually a blonde ale with strawberries and passion fruit. I was incorrect yet again in this video. Hey, Hefe. This is our last beer in the Pride flight. And so it looks like it's the, the lightest of all of the options here. Let's go ahead and give it a whirl. Definitely the lightest of all three options, I would say. And it's, it's more of a blonde type drink. You're either getting that light or blonde flavor coming through. Um, probably out of the four, my least favorite, I would say. So good thing we saved this one for last. As we were finishing up the last of our beers, uh, we were talking to the bartender. We actually found out that CityWorks, the company as a whole, is actually based out of Chicago. So that explains why they would have all the Goose Island beers here. So little homage to the hometown of Chicago here at Disney Springs. This is actually the only CityWorks location in Florida also and their locations up in the Chicago area are more in the poorhouse fashion because um, I was like oh I'd, I'd never heard of a CityWorks up in Chicago but 
That's because they're a poorhouse up in Chicago. But uh, we're gonna finish up the rest of our beers, like I said, and then we're gonna hit the stores, find some sweet merchandise, and then we're moving to the sweets. My favorite time of night. We are outside of World of Disney and they have all the Pride merchandise inside, so let's get shopping. Inside World of Disney, there is endless amounts of Pride merchandise, including this oversized beach towel. A very lovely addition to your work desk. I love this hat, I think it's awesome, and they even have a lot of clothing merchandise here. A magic band I see over here, and we have, of course, some dog collars, <laughs> a keychain here, also some Christmas ornaments, so a few different varietals. You get this lovely castle, and they also have that Mickey head as well. A lanyard, some pins, patches, patched, and a beach towel that's not oversized. A lot of different backpacks, and I love the zippers on that one. It's rainbow. Um, here's a miniature lounge fly where they are wearing rainbow dresses and pants. A full-size lounge fly. We have Mickey and Minnie plushes. And yet another backpack, and this is super cute. It has all the Disney snacks and icons on the different colors there. And if you flip it over, they continue even on the straps. A nice mug that could go with your desk sign. We've got a little tumbler here. It's the most magical place on earth. Hidden Mickeys and the fireworks there. A few snap bands. Even a mask. Children's attire as well, so a cute little onesie here. And a cutout shirt here. The sleeves have some cutout. A nice polo with that rainbow Mickey on the chest. We have a nice hoodie. And I love, look at that, inside lining is rainbow. And then of course the Mickey icon there. And some joggers to match your hoodie if you like. A fanny pack where again that zipper is the rainbow and even the band is the rainbow. And I am obsessed with this, my favorite piece of merchandise, the Mouseketeer hat. And we have a nice little throw. And to match your Mouseketeer ears, you can get that nice shirt. For the first suite of today, we have headed on over to the Ganachery. They have told us that there is a rainbow mixed berry cake pop that is chocolate covered. And we're about to get our suite on. I picked up the Pride Prop. prop the Pride Pop. They also have a featured timeline of sour apple ganache pop and toffee crunch down in this lovely bag here. We're gonna go with this because today is the Pride video. We have the mixed berry Pride treat from over at the Ganachery. I love it, look at all of the glitter. This actually has cherry, raspberry, strawberry. What's that other word? Cassis. Cassis, okay, which is like a black currant, which I used to get in my snake bites back in college, which is amazing, you should try it if you haven't. Let's go in for this pop. What about the lemon? Where's the lemon? Oh, yeah. There's a pop of lemon in it. Look, they said cake pop, but that doesn't look like cake pop. This is like a mousse inside. Mm, there is, is this is not cake. It is very tart, but it's very it's balanced very well. So we just had that beer slash cider over at City Works, which is super super tart. They have mastered toning that down with the sweetness. It's very well balanced. I like the texture of the chocolate on the outside. Very creamy on the inside. It is not a cake pop. Tastes like lemonade, inside chocolate, inside my mouth. And I'm not mad about it. And once again, we have been ousted at Gideon. So I don't know what time we have to get here to get into Gideon's. We've tried coming here at 10 a.m. 
We tried coming here at 10.31 a.m. We tried coming here at 6 p.m. We tried coming here at 6 a.m. We just can't get into Gideon's. But what they have here for Pride Month, they got a three layer cake. It's gonna be a rainbow cake. It's got marshmallow buttercream, and then it's got some rainbow crunch, which I don't know what that is. Maybe it's Fruity Pebbles. Maybe it's Fruit Loops. Maybe it's Rice Krispie Treats that are just dyed different colors. No one knows because we can't get in there. We are here at Arista Crepes. I've been wanting to try Arista Crepes for years and I just never have come here because there's always been so many more options and I just couldn't fit another bite in my belly on some days. But I've always wanted to try their bubble waffles, but today we're actually gonna get a crepe. <laughs> because they have a colorful crepe and look at how colorful it looks. I love the tie-dye, they got some sweet looking blueberries on there. I don't know exactly what else is in it, but I'm gonna find out and I'll let you know. Hi, can I get the colorful crepe? That's it. Here's their typical menu. Again, those bubble waffles. What Andrew has said he originally wants. And look at these sweet crepes of s'mores. Yum, yum. Ooh, I almost got a water splash on my colorful crepe. Check that out. Woo! We have our colorful crepe here from Arista Crepes, as previously mentioned. It is a rainbow crepe, as you can see, very rainbow. It's got a Chantilly cream in there. There's a blueberry compote, and then it's just a shortbread, uh, shortbread little crumble on top. So that was just nothing but cream there. Let me get, let's get in towards, towards the center here. Let's get that compote. Maybe should have gotten a knife, but that's all right. We're going to play it. I'm going to grab some cream and actual fresh blueberry. Whoa. Blueberry flavor to the max. And it's so warm. That's a really good compote. I'm. That was like a really good bite. I was not expecting to like it that much. It's no bubble waffle in my head, but... That blueberry compote is for real. It's got like the perfect amount of sweetness. It's not overpowering. And then the cream is nice and airy, nice and fluffy. And if you get a little bit of the uh, of that shortbread crumble, it gives it the perfect texture to bring it all home. Now that the crepe has been ingested, <laughs> it's and time. And digested. Not quite digested, but we're getting there. But it's time to keep this dessert train rolling. So let's head on into the Goofy's Candy Co. and see what kind of morsels they can serve up. Here at Goofy's Candy Co. in the case, we've got all of our usual players. We've got a nice rainbow Rice Krispie treat. We've got some tie-dye cream on that cupcake. We've got M&Ms. We have sprinkles. So definitely getting all of the colors of the rainbow here at Goofy. So that is going to do it for us here at Disney Springs celebrating Pride Month. Definitely a lot of good offerings here at the Springs. Absolutely. There's also a cake over at Amaret. It does feature a rainbow heart, much like the one behind us here. Rainbows. Uh, we did not, we, there's actually a pretty long line for it, so we did not wait for it today, but just another option that you can look for if you make it out to the Springs during Pride Month. Yeah, so we definitely recommend coming out and trying some of the offerings. And what would you say was your favorite offering of the day? You know, I really appreciated the creativity of the beer flights and just having it from the different breweries that were celebrating Pride as opposed to it just being a rainbow themed like we saw over at Splitsville. So I thought that was really nice and unique and I thought there was a good variety of different types of beers like there was a cider, sort of, you know, like that tartness one and the mm -hmm. IPA. So I really like that. Yeah, I agree. That it was really cool how they incorporated those, those breweries. Um, but I would say as far as best bite for me was was the ganachery. I thought that that mixed berry uh, pop was was extremely flavorful. Definitely would get it again, I would say. So come down to the Springs, check out some of some of what they got going on. It's always a, a party down here. Always having the great merchandise at all of the shops also. So make sure you stop in and grab yourself a drink, something to eat, or something to wear. Absolutely, but thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and you will check us here at a park soon.